All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cause Streams TV. As always, I'm Cause, and I hope you have had a fantastic release to the War Within. Let's kind of jump into it. What we're going to talk about today is some of the things we did this week. We've definitely done a lot of exploring. We've got a bunch of level 80s. We've worked on gearing those 80s, and then we've worked on our professions. And really, let's just talk about all things War Within, because to me, right now, War Within is a big thumbs up. It is a win. It has been fantastic. The system in the game have been great i'm not dreading having to do something which is really cool like i think in dragonflight we had the cobalt assembly farm where you have to farm out all that rep to get the ring early on just to help with raid and it's so nice that right now you don't have to do that there are items tied behind renown but if you're just playing the game these first couple of weeks it's so nice to know that like i don't have to jump in and start gearing i don't have to there's nothing i have to do and that has been so refreshing in the war within because we're all so used to having to jump in and just grind something right away i've gotten the renown i need to buy the renown items naturally just through playing through doing world quests through doing some of the quests right like for example on my dk that's gonna be my main i've done this sojourn of uh ringing deeps that got me enough rep to get the renown item from them i've also done hallow fall naturally just by doing world quests and some of the quests there and i think that is a great way to start an expansion to really give everyone a chance to experience the game and the zones and that's something i've really been doing and another thing that they've done is they've given us flying right away there's no achievement we need to get there's no quests we need to complete there's not we just get into the game and you start flying and that has been one of the most positive things that they've done in my opinion one of the reasons they didn't add this previously is they said they wanted you to stay on ground rounds to experience the zones for me personally right now my experience of the zones has been amplified because there's so much to do in the air for example collecting the radiant crystals flying around collecting the glyphs for sky riding and just exploring the zones like because i go around picking up herbs and mining and stuff like that doing world quests and what i'm seeing is like i fly into certain zones where there's caverns and there's these blue crystals hanging from the ground it's like i kind of stop and just appreciate the architecture of that zone so i'm really glad that they've given us that ability to fly one other thing i've noticed like with the sky riding uh races that they continue to have in the game there's one that you do in the ringing deeps that takes you down through this beautiful like mushroomy purpley reddish area i'm flying through this and it was so cool i'm like wow i, I haven't actually seen this zone yet but i got to fly through it with the sky riding race and then i went back to kind of look around i was really impressed with some of these zones and the more i play and just explore and pick up mats the more i keep finding these little things that i'm like oh this is really cool so that is a really big win for me in my opinion i've truly just gotten to enjoy the experience of the zones i'm not rushed into mythic plus i'm not rushed into raid i'm not rushed into gearing i can just play the game at my own pace and my characters are fairly geared so if we hop on and take a quick look at the death knight the death knight was 552.94 finishing uh last week just before the launch and all that that's where we jumped into the expansion and then uh right now going into the reset the first reset it. we're at 580.56 that's a massive i've leveled up and i haven't been really grinding very hard obviously i've upgraded upgraded most of my gear that i can with valor stones only up to 580 but then i went and bought the renown items from each of the factions and it wasn't really that challenging i also got my belt crafted and so i mean that's the thing like i've just been playing the game and my character continues to progress so my dk is ready to start some of the mythic zeros once they come out they drop 593 gear and then let's swap over to the mage, right? The mage felt a little more challenging to actually go through some of the zones and do the weeklies, because that's what we did on the mage. We went and did each of the zone weeklies. We did some of the world quests that gave items just to kind of get his eye level up. And then as I was exploring as well, I just, hey, there's a world quest over here that gives me a ring I can use. And I just went and did that, right? So taking a look at the mage, the mage finished at 531.38 eye level last week, and we are at 564.13. I haven't done a lot of heroics on the mage, and I haven't gotten any of the renown. Um, I've noticed it's a little more challenging on the mage to go do the weeklies i feel kind of weak right and i only have cooldowns once every like minute and a half so it's like i kill a bunch of ads i have to sit down and eat and then i kill a bunch of ads i have to sit down and eat it feels a little slower on the mage which is kind of expected i'm a claw class i'm a range take i don't hit as hard right so tanks can sit there and take a beating so going from a tank to a mage very big difference for me so i'm trying to learn that kind of different play style but again like 30 item levels just for playing the game passively right and i think that's really cool i haven't upgraded any of his gear right so that's where the mage is sitting right now 
And then probably the character I've played the least out of my 80s is the Shammy. Uh, I still go around doing the weeklies on him and doing any world, some of the world quests that do give him gear, but overall he is my least played. I haven't really done very, very any heroics on him. On the Shammy, we've gone from 532.19 to 555.75. Again, it's been very easy just to get some gear here and there. Like he still needs a few upgrades, right? Obviously his belt is still 460 from season three, but like that's something I can do quickly. I can go buy a belt probably from 500 gold, which I might do after this but so that's kind of where the chamois at right now i do continue to playing him as well but it's just it's been really nice to passively get this gear and i can play the three or four characters without really feeling like i'm falling behind on my main that might change once the season goes live but for now i am really just enjoying the few weeks of, of relaxed gameplay and casual gameplay that i get to do in the war within and one of the things we did on our live stream on Sunday is we worked on another level 80. I would originally, the plan was to get a Paladin up to level 80 and play Rhett. However, I just, I kind of really wanted to get my Monk up and see how they feel. So that's what I did. I worked on my Dark Iron Monk. We got her up to level 80 in about three and a half hours. The last hour was a bit wishy-washy because I got really bad groups for dungeons. So the last 79 to 80 took way too long. But yeah, so we jumped in on her. We got her to level 80 and then we did go in around the world, got some of the world quests. We did a few uh, heroic dungeons, not a lot, but I got really lucky with gear on her. And then we upgraded any of the 571 heroic pieces up to 580. She went very quickly to 80 up to 565.13 item level, all in the span of about five hours, right? So I think that's really fantastic. And there's still some gear that will be huge upgrades. For example, switching out her 490 shoulders will probably bring you up to 567, 568. And then I did buy the renowned headpiece as well. So I'm very happy with the monk. I definitely will play her a little more. Um, she felt good in dungeons, but the one thing I've noticed is with all the changes to the buttons on the monk i feel neuter i feel like i always complain that there's button bloat on the monk and now i feel like there's not enough buttons it's really a weird headspace i'm in with the monk right now still feels very strong does a ton of damage i'm so impressed at how much damage the monk does but yeah so i'm i'm gonna continue to play the monk definitely once mythic zero and mythic plus come out i want to run some of those dungeons to get some more gear and see what it really feels like so that's where the monk is at just after about five six hours of play and while we're on the topic of the monk, I actually went to the trading post and I was kind of poking around some of the gear and some of what they have this month. I completely missed August. I had it completed and I forgot to go to the trading post. So I lost, uh, missed out on the free trading post tenders and the actual item that you get at the end. So I did have it completed. I forgot to go. So I did go this month. I kind of take a look, see what's in there. Uh, there's a few things we bought because some of the transmogs were just bang on. And here's one of the transmogs that I actually, uh, I saw on the Dark Iron Monk and immediately I'm like, this is it. This is the transmog for my monk for probably most of the season because i absolutely love it it's the sky captain's formal attire and i just love this transmog and i you know matched it up with it doesn't come with hands or shoulders so i removed the shoulders completely i put the white gloves that i got from a previous trading post item right just to fill it in and then i also put on one of the weapons that we bought from the booleans from last season from dragonflight and i think this just looks fantastic it looks so cool i absolutely love it i'm gonna use this quite a bit especially with the orange eyes I just, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this set. I think it's fantastic. So that's one of the things we got from the trading post. So moving on, let's quickly just jump into uh, and talk about our mount collections. Last week, we didn't find any mounts specifically from dungeons or any of that, but we did get two mounts. One is from the trading post that we were just talking about. That is the crocodile, the keg legs, radiant crocolist. This is it here. Definitely a cool mount. I mean, it's a crocodile. I'm wondering if it has increased swim speed. So I'm going to try that out a little later. So that is the crocodile. And then we also got the ghastly charger. And this is the ghastly charger. This is a fly mount. This is the one you get from the Twitch drop right now. So if you're watching your favorite streamer, just go watch them for four hours and you will receive this mount for free. Here is the ghastly charger that we also got. And speaking to our mount farms, I believe Underod is at this point just a troll and a meme to me. I am well over 340 attempts at getting the mount from Underod. And I think it's, at this point, it's just kind of a meme. It's so, I've got characters just parked there permanently that I'm going to keep there. I've got a couple characters parked at Utgrad Pinnacle, which I continue to do as well. So having farmed 340 plus attempts, I just, I don't even know. At this point, if I hit 400 on Underod, I just may stop. I don't really know what to do 
with that dungeon anymore. I think it's a meme. And then we're also going to be running the ringing deeps. There is the lurk lurker of the deeps that we can get um, that drops a mount as well. We don't have it yet, but basically you can rerun that every single day. So I've moved a lot of my 70s for Mop Remix and all that. I've got them already. I've moved them over to ringing deeps because that one you can do daily. You just join a group, uh, somebody you pull five levers and then you kill the boss at a chance at the mount. I haven't gotten that one yet. That's another one I'm going to be doing. So that is the journey for mounts. We've got three that we're actively trying to get and hopefully in the coming weeks we can get it and stop running under rot because 340 plus runs is ridiculous. In regards to my professions, I am continuing to work on them. They still feel like it's very slow to get them up, but I'm trying to not go to the auction house and buy the mats I need. So for example, with my DK and enchanting, I need to go do a farm. I'll probably do the bee farm because a lot of greens drop from there. And at the same time, I'm working towards getting a mount, right? So tailoring is going fairly slow on my mage. Uh, jewel crafting is going okay. Um, and then I have enchanting. Now I've, I've, with my dark iron muck, I've made him a collector only. So he is a farmer for mining and herbalism. That's that's what the monk is going to do and that way i can send those mats over to my jewel crafter and i do have an alchemist that i'm going to work on as well so that is what the monk is doing that's how i'm focusing on my professions and so let's talk about what the plan is for this week. Something that I'm going to keep doing is I'm probably because we have another week before Mythic Zero is open, I'm going to focus heavily on my professions. And then I'm also going to focus on gearing some of the 80s that I have. Now that I have four 80s, my Death Knight is basically done. I'll probably try to farm a couple more items on him, keep my Valor, Valor Stones up. Uh, I will do the Mage and the Shammy a little more to get their items up. And then also my new Dark Iron Monk who will be a Brewmaster, right? So here they are in their glory and their warband. Everyone has been transmogged and kind of is chilling the one thing i wish they did with warbands is that they let the characters just stand like there's an option to stand or sit instead of having to click them all and then eventually they sit i really wish they would just stand all the time then because we still have one more week i'm going to try to get all of the tanks up to level 80s the next tank we're going to be focusing on is my warrior this is my Volpira warrior this is my alchemist so i definitely want to get him up to 80 because once he's up to 80 i can focus on his alchemy and kind of get him some gear warrior is also very fun to just play so definitely going to work on him i'm going to work on my paladin i still want a Draenei Paladin so that will be probably the one I work after the warrior then we also have our Night Elf Demon Hunter this is another tank we're going to focus on getting up to 80 and then the challenge I'm having right now is I don't know which one of my druids I want to take up to level 80 and be the guardian druid cosmology this is my Torin. this was your OG druid I had and the reason I like the dark iron is because they have the charge that stuns everyone same with Kul Tiran. they also have the knockback that's that's stuns that stuns mobs and then there's also my zandalari troll druid so i don't know what i want i really love the forms of the cult Tiran and the zandalari so i'm torn between which one i actually want to level up to 80 for the bear form anyway i'll always be using the actual legion skin because doing that mage tower and i just i love how it looks but i don't know like for feral and for boomkin like both cult Tiran and the zandalari look amazing i just i don't know which one i really want so that is the challenge I'm having with Druid, but that's going to be the last tank I focus on. I do want to get that done this week, however. So that's about uh, nine to 12, nine to 10 hours, maybe 12 of leveling, right? So that is something I'm going to focus on. Probably get a group to do that, get them some gear as well. So that way, when Mythic Zero comes out, we can actually try each of these tanks in Mythic Zero, get them some gear. And then when Mythic Plus comes out, we can focus on them as well. So that is the plan for the week. So that is it for our preseason week one recap. I hope you are enjoying the War Within as much as I am. I feel Blizzard is cooking with the most extravagant ingredients right now. And the experience so far for the casual player base, even for someone like me who's waiting for the season to come out, I've been enjoying everything I can do. I hope you are as well if you're an achievement hunter i hope you've been successful if you're look farming for mounts or quests or anything that you do in this game i hope you are enjoying it i am looking forward to the week to come and working on all of my tanks and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys in kazalgar once again have a fantastic week everyone and peace out